So good morning and welcome to another beautiful day down here in Cozumel. Rachel has an adventure in store for you, something that we have never done before. It's going to be different. Because we always act like such snobs about it. Yeah, because we're such snobs about it. It was always presented to, it, presented to us by a timeshare person or someone at a resort trying to sell something. We've never snorkeled with a boat. Always seem like a human flotilla of just like sargassum to me. And then they were just dragging behind a giant catamaran. So we leave at two o'clock from Which the Cozumel like, Ferry. Why I'm like packing here, so we gotta leave in like 15 minutes. So. Beaches, some nachos, they had like rum punch, all kinds of stuff. I'm excited. Are you excited? Hey, I don't even wanna talk. I'm just like getting, I'm ready to roll. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> <laughs> Enough exposition with this. Let's get you out to the boat and show you what the whole thing's about. Woo! Right, well that became an absolute bust really fast. <laughs> so the ad for the uh, trip said to get here 10 minutes early, which we did. We were here 20 minutes early. But what we didn't expect was that it was going to take us a half an hour to find a parking spot. And I'm not happy about where I parked but it was the only parking spot I could find within about a mile of ferry landing. Take that back, right while I was recording that, Rachel called me. That boat will be stopping at a different port, and if I get her right now, I can pick her up, and we can make it over to that port and still make the boat. I had to run back and get the car, now I gotta grab her and see where this other port even is. best ones possible considering the conditions. It's like a marina in here. Let's see what we have here. Let me see. Well, I do have to give these guys a lot of credit. They uh, handle dip at tourists. They can't get their shit together very well. I hope that's the case right now because I know they're trying. We'll see if we can make it. But we were able to get a parking spot. Let's just do this. Yep, let's just ask them around. Ask around. Yeah, yeah we're good. Well, keep those guys about? Yeah. Be careful. In front of the white line. Be careful. Be careful. In front of the white line. Lo siento, guys. Como ya, ya, lo ne.
mucho en la bebé no se divierte uh -oh. Daniela oh, yeah. Que el corazón de tu mamá Que el corazón de tu mamá La que quema a los maridos La uh -huh. que siempre me hace el día uh -huh. Si la caco me perdona So, after what was one of the most unique and dazzling snorkeling trips that either of us had ever been on, the crew from Maybe Tours had one more fun little surprise up their sleeves for us. They took us down to a remote section of beach to enjoy a couple of beers and some fresh guacamole while we sat there and watched the sun set behind the coconut trees. Cozumel is a rare mix of accessibility and escapism. It's one of the few places in the world where you can fly in and be lost on a remote section of beach all to yourself and then back in an exquisite restaurant over the course of a single afternoon. And these guys did it right. The reefs they took us to were hands down some of the best snorkeling spots in the world. The guides were fun and knowledgeable and the beach was the cherry on top of an already loaded slice of cake. What'd you find? What do you got? <laughs> the pompano that big. Okay. Right? Yeah. And the giant, giant stingray that I got down to. That was right over here? Yes, right over here. And all of the lionfish. And all the lionfish. That we touched. That we touched. Every f***ing <laughs> lionfish. <laughs> You guys did an awesome job, man. Had a blast. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I have to go on record as saying that was amazing. For 10 freaking years, I have hated the idea of doing one of those stupid wait. snorkeling tour trips. Wait, wait, guys, look. Oh, and then check this out right here. Who needs to go on a tour? Let's just see. All you need is a cool marina like this. Look, we could spend a whole day here just seeing everything Literally from the docks. I just want to exit the 
Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That's a that's a dinner sized snapper right there. What's the thing we're all talking about here? I want I want in on this. So yes, I always hated the idea of those little flotillas, forest turds floating on the surface while they're walking, while they're checking things out. Those guys took care of us. They did a fantastic yeah. job. They were amazing. Yeah, they were. Kind of won me over a little bit. Not gonna lie. Okay, so funny story. Remember that necklace I found when I very first jumped off the boat, went snorkeling? Like my very first dive down? When I found it, I thought, oh, some tourist just dropped it down here. I was the first one off the boat right after the guide went in to check and make sure everything was safe. And I thought, man, I got myself a necklace. When we were editing our video afterwards, after we were done snorkeling, which was last night now, Rachel, I don't even know how she did this, but she recognized that that necklace belonged to our guide, Haciel. I drove out here out front, gave him directions to where we're staying. And I got him coming over now so I can give him his necklace back. I wasn't going to sit there and film the whole thing because that would be, I wanted it to be like a nice little exchange and not something I'm trying to profiteer off of. Did manage to get him his necklace back, feeling pretty stoked about that. I have zero opportunity to rest here. <laughs> it is time to move on to the next adventure and I got to do so before this rain completely takes me out of business. So. I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, our next adventure is going to be right up there. And of course, you can check out our entire Cozumel playlist right down there. And I will see you in the next video.